Hello survivors and welcome to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video and in this video I'm going to be running through the new event roadmap. This is to get your hands on copies of Steel who looks like a very worthwhile character to try and pick up. Even if you're not going to spend and you're going to get what you can out of the event, you have to be able to do this roadmap. Smash and Shatter 3. Very difficult roadmap. We've had these kind of things in previous events. There is some little changes to the stages as you can see i've fully completed it already so i know there is a stage with danny on it and you're going to see keep up for it it's in the third act it blows up my team it blows up my team but i have coins uh, so i did decided to use a 75 coin revive that was the only stage that caused me any real issues and it's just because i honestly was taken by surprise by it because it had two heavy damage dealers and even their basic attacks with one shot people and AoE and so on and so forth. And he got off his signature move, so it made it even worse. Um, but yeah, I'm going to just run through this. And hopefully this is going to be useful for you. If not just for seeing you know, how I did it with my team. But also just seeing what the enemy's teams are going to be. Enjoy.
Okay, so as you saw, I managed to complete the roadmap. Pretty, uh, pretty brutal, especially that stage with Danny. Caught me kind of by surprise. I hadn't seen that one before. Um, I wasn't really paying attention, if I'm honest. I did check the signature moves to see how... Uh, it, they're not turn one signature moves. This is the only bonus, but they have 800,000 attack. Their basic attacks are going to one-shot people. I was more worried about the decap than I was about Danny. I, I know it sounds strange. Danny took up my entire team. But if the decap hits somebody, they're, they're going to get taken out and I can't revive them. I can at least recover from Danny. But unfortunately, he got his signature move off. It's just the way it is. Um, it costs 75 coins to come back. I, that, there's not much to spend coins on, so I definitely would do that. You don't want to lose the energy. Um, and this is the team. I showed it at the beginning, but I'll just go through the mods quickly. Uh, max skill, trader. Mods, just a bit more. Um, defensive, protect his his signature move. I uh, don't want him to get taunted. AP drain. A lot of this is going to be the same. Very defensive, protect things. Um, and then obviously AP drains. He's got um, the weapon from Mateo's event way back when. So when he hits a basic attack, he has a 60% chance to hit an impair, which is really important. You saw me just doing basic attacks against like Eris and stuff like that. It does minus AP too. And I think we had it where it was doing the minus 20 AP plus the minus um, 60 AP from his AP drain. So he was zeroing people out on the AP quite a lot, which is very nice indeed. And um, basically that's what you've got to do is, so, you know, AP bar manipulation and uh, stopping people from doing their rushes. I don't think I had too many people do rushes in that, except maybe like the odd character I didn't really care too much about. Um, but the, the, the more key characters, it wasn't a problem. Same sort of deal with this guy. Just very like defensive build. Although he has actually got crit set, but I just gave him the defense stuff on crit set. I think it's just so I could give him the best mods because I, I wouldn't use these mods on anybody else. Although I should probably upgrade this one or give him or give him one that's like, uh, I've only got, see, I've only got him a defense set. I've only got him a defense set. Um, I mean, I, I guess I could just get my defense set for when I run this the next day. So, so it's probably better to do it this way. I just don't want him to get wrecked too much. And that was the plan. Um, his weapon could be swapped out for something else. He doesn't necessarily need the trauma. But if there's an angel, she can be very hard to take out. And Slasher Beta can actually help on that because he can, um, he can help when it comes to the trauma. He can stack up trauma and she can cleanse herself. And if you get enough effects on her, you can get like eight, nine effects on her. She can do hundreds of thousands of damage to herself, potentially, if you have uh, multiple holiday heroes, which I think I've got two. So um, it obviously helps there. Um, it's like 10k per holiday hero. Uh, sorry, 5k per holiday hero, but then 10k for me per debuff. So nine would be 90k, you know, actually pretty decent. Um, this is the second holiday hero. She was or is in the current um, event stuff um, with the... Uh, the mythic was it the what was it called it, it you know the the store <laughs> i cannot, cannot remember what it's called now and um, she's a good character she's in the crate she's in one of the choosable crates and um i think on the weapon i went with the ransack weapon which is the fourth of july weapon you might not have got this event uh, during the event that this was in but you might have got it from one of the stashes when it came back um it's come back multiple times i would say this is pretty good if you don't have this weapon Another good weapon would potentially be uh, this weapon here, which is... Actually, I might have this on her, because I was hitting some confuses. I'm not sure who was hitting those confuses. It might have been her. How do I how do I tell which one's on her? I think I've got... The, okay, I've got the 4th of July, but that other one would actually be fine. Where is it? Let me just check. This one would actually be fine. Confuse on crit. Just to control. She also cleanses as well, which is nice. A nice little bonus uh, with the mods again just more defensive just for trying to protect her what she does she really needs an ap drain give her the best ap drain she hits the most people more often because she's her signature move you want to just pop her signature move all the time um she does heal reduction so on and so forth uh, she's not a control role but it is what it is um this character again reasonably more defensive crit chance is quite important because you want to hit crits for her signature move because um, her signature move is going to be popping all the time and she's going to self cleanse. This is what you're just going to be doing. Sync move, cleansing, sync move, cleansing. And then if you do hit crits, you can confound. So it's just like an extra bonus when it comes to control. Um, I think I've got AP drain here. I don't. I have defense all stun for some reason. I'm not really, really sure why. I think I actually. It's because I have this character on like my tower team. So I, I kind of want to use this character at the same time. Um, but yeah. 
Um, that's what I would use here. When it comes to the weapon, I don't think I had her base weapon. I think I actually had this ransack weapon. Winter Marcus's ransack weapon. Because because she's attack cleansing, she can never be controlled on her attack. And she can steal away buffs. Obviously, ransacking. It's mainly the halo, just to make sure they stay down. Um, Beta's just going to be hitting them and hopefully getting some... Uh, you know, decaps in. You saw a couple of times where the full teams were decapped, which is quite nice. Uh, when it comes to Locke, same sort of situation, but I would try and stack his HP up as much as possible. And this is because he is a, um, a bodyguard and you want to protect him from getting absolutely destroyed from bodyguard hits, which he's going to get anyway. You saw him, he was getting taken down the most because when the big hits came in, he maybe even removed the guardian shield, but he absorbed one or two of the hits and he's going to get taken out. That's why I use those items. Uh, I'll go over the items as well. Um, I don't think anything else here I went too crazy. I just didn't want him to get decapped. I don't think there's too much potential there. I think Lao Po was in some of those teams. Um, I just don't want him to get decapped. But you could go for some control. He was getting controlled a little bit. But he got impaired a couple of times. Um, and so on and so forth. Uh, but that's his uh, his base weapon. Which is 51% HP. He gets bonus to AP when he's being attacked, which is good. It procs that gives him AP when he procs his specialist skill as well. So that's actually quite good. Um, one thing to note as well, none of my characters support characters. If you don't want to use these characters, fine. Do not use support characters. There's Princess on various stages. And she'll just hardlock one of those characters. And she'll just continuously taunt the character. And it's really hard to take down Princess if that's happening. Just because she'll keep cleansing herself. So you won't be able to do things like infection and stuff like that. You saw me just defend action in quite a lot just to take out characters. And that's because I was just infecting like Pizza Boy Glenn and um, and Princess. Who, uh, Pizza Boy Glenn had actually a full cleanse weapon. I didn't realize. I don't think he had it on some of the earlier stages, but he definitely did at the later stages. Where if you just attack him, he was full cleansing. You just got to do, do um, some confuse and then just stop attacking him. Pretty much as simple as that. Or stun him with Blau Po in this case. Um... Let me give some options maybe for swap outs. Maybe you could swap out Locke for Mike. Bit of a weaker version of the same sort of idea. He's going to be doing infection. He's got bodyguard. Same sort of thing. He can hold a ransack weapon. So slightly different on the ransack uh, like potential there. Laupo is a hard swap out. I can't remember who I had in here before. I did have someone else. And then um, Steve on my stream said he used the Laupo. And I was like, oh, you know, Laupo would be so much better for me and my team just because of how she... She works. I'm, I can't. I, I think I actually had Mike here. I had Mike and Locke in the same team, which isn't terrible. Um, you know, it's still infection from Mike instead of Lao Po. You can get the like spiral infection because obviously when characters get taken out, another person gets infected. But a lot of these teams have heal over time, so it can be problematic there. Um, so Paddy's they pray. I did actually use a different character at one point, and she's pretty useful for this. Um, I think she's control role as well, which is nice because she's got a decent amount of control. And it is Carol. She actually has a pretty decent amount of control um, when it comes to taunts and stuff like that. She can't really do much else. She is going to, you know, periodically get more damage. You did see me hit, like, for 45k before, but that's, like, you know, that's barely, like, 20% of someone's HP in this. It's not really that big a deal. Um, I'd give her a ransack weapon if I was to put her in. Um, she could be good, though, just because I can get some nice early line control, which is nice. Um, definitely use faction teammates and if people are putting up Krampus Carol, she's actually pretty useful. Beta, I'm just doing basic attacks, basic attacks, basic attacks, trying to hit people with his specialist skill. Um, you can't really swap out him maybe for too many characters, just someone else maybe that does crosshairs. Um, basically, as simple as that. But the reason he's really good is because he puts down trauma, and if you have other holiday heroes like we do have um, with Soot Paddy's, they. Um, uh, I think I could have Priya. Uh, it's Rosita. Uh, so in Paddy's Day, Rosita, we can get 10k trauma. And like I say, there, ain't, there is no angel in there that I could see. But that's one of the more problematic characters when it comes to building a, a team that has to deal with everything. Now, Trade is the best character for a leader. Except you could potentially use... Um, I used him once as a support character. He's actually very good. But if you do use this character, guys... Wait, what did I do? Oh, okay. Uh, no, not that wrong. If you do use this character, you cannot leave Trader on the bench. If you want to use Commander John, very good. Um, if you're not winning quick, though, he's, he's, he he suddenly gets quite useless. Like, if you if the, if the infection from his lead skill and stuff like that doesn't work, and it's only 100%, on these, that isn't that much. 
um, he's not as useful. I would definitely put Trader in elsewhere, you know. Trader maybe in this position can take over the control role position of what um, Rosita's bringing to the table. Or maybe in Lao Po's position because the infection that Lao Po brings in is getting swapped out for the Commander John infection in, in the actual lead skill. But Trader has to be on the team. He's he's the best controller in the game, realistically. Um, unless you maybe got the new... Um, the new... Davy, or maybe if you speed speed run the, the current event and try to get Wendy nice and early, um, those characters maybe could work because they just ha lay down in pairs a lot, and in pairs very important. But Trader also does days, which is quite important as well, and he can get his rush quite consistently because when obviously characters get taken out, he gets his adrenaline rush. It's pretty much as simple as that. Now, when it comes to the items, um, I used energy burst. This was I originally was using different items before. Uh, can I do this? No. Okay, there we go. I used Energy Burst. I was originally using a different item before, but it's all team members gain 100 HP, which is not that big a deal, and recovers from attack penalties. It's okay, defense penalties, but it's mainly the bleeding. You want to time this well. I, I did mess up on one of the rounds. You saw two of my characters taken out, but fortunately it was right at the end, so I just didn't bother reviving. Um, because there's lots of lots of Negans on there, and the bleed Negans are very problematic. Um, if you have lock in your team, I think it's for the first three turns, if you max out that um, skill he obviously does a hundred percent reduction to burn and bleed but after that you have to start using these cleansers you have to um revive just to get yourself out of uh, jail smelling salts revive on team member 50 percent of max hp you see it sorry it nearly worked when i did it with um against the danny team but i just didn't have anything to do to danny afterwards and it was just the basic attacks after that that wrecked me like he he took out four characters with a basic attack after that the signature move is, is problematic sure but I needed the Guardian Shields up, and I just didn't have them. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, the Knockout Gas, I even used this. Um, oh, sorry, no. Knockout Gas is impaired. This is just just basically an added line of security. One enemy gets impaired for three turns. It's just in case you need to do, you know, a guaranteed impair proc against the character. Obviously, um, the only person who can bypass resists is going to be Trader. He can bypass resists. He can reduce them down to 60% if they have 100% uh, on the light above. But this, if no one's got a resist, you can just um, use this on someone. And you may not know this, but you can actually use this on someone who's in Outlast. So if someone's in Outlast and they're about to rush in Outlast, you can't hit them at all. They've got no one in a line, so you can't target the person behind them to do a line attack like with Trader's Rush. You can still impair them with this, and it means they don't rush, which is really good against like Eris, and it's good against Jesus as well. So that's actually pretty decent. Now, the last item I just used, because I can't really think of anything else to use here. If you have any ideas, do let me know. But it just does minus 50% attack for three turns. It's just to make it a little bit more, you know, my team a bit more sustainable until I start getting rid of enemies, and then it's not too bad. I used this against Danny. It made no difference. He had 800k attack. He got reduced to 400k, and he still one-shot my entire team with a basic attack, all right? Um, those stats are ridiculous. If you saw me against the Telltale team... The characters that I prioritized, I went for Omid on full control with Trader, like the full, like continuous con um, control on Confuse. And then I laid down everything on Carver because I couldn't have Carver do his signature move because he would blow up my entire team. Even his basic attacks are problematic, but I knew I had Guardian Shields and stuff like that. But there's not much I could do when there was like Lydia and Danny in the same team. You might actually have to just sacrifice 75 coins each time or try and get lucky in that. I'm not sure if the stages change around. You get to you know check yourself as you progress on these each day and uh, you can refer back to my video to see if the teams are the same for you uh, but that's it on the on the team there guys uh do tell me how you managed to get through this this is pretty much the standard team that i've used on the current previous events it's pretty good against everything but it's not super quick it took me about 30 minutes to complete around about 30 40 minutes to complete not 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 the fastest but it is what it is i'd rather consistency than than speed and, and missing out i'm not i'm not spending on on anything when it comes to this event i'm just trying to try and get what i can get and hopefully uh get a couple of those characters because the character looks quite nice but uh, hopefully it's been useful like i say thank you very much for tuning into my video and as always keep on surviving guys keep on surviving